Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, as you can see, the extension is coming on. We're making loads of good progress now, but we have got a bit of a problem. Um, our new uh, bedroom, so the upstairs of the extension, um, is nice and warm because we've got really great insulation. We went for some of the type of insulation we could get, uh, but it does mean that we have no Wi-Fi signal in here because basically it interrupts the Wi-Fi signal. So as soon as we come in here, you might have seen us on our Instagram lives and things, but we've tried to do it here. It cuts the signal out and it doesn't work. So we're looking for a way around it. Okay, so you can run a speed test really easily on your mobile phone, literally by just Googling speed test mobile. So I'm just going to, comes up with this there, I'm just going to run a speed test here, which is basically the old house, so not surrounded by that new um, foil insulation. And that's coming up at about, there we go, 47.6 up here. So if I then just run a speed test in here, it's coming out at about seven megabits per second, so that's a significantly lower. So we really wanted to know what the best way to extend your Wi-Fi into this room would be. And this would apply to you as well if you're setting up a home office in a garage or in somewhere where you previously didn't learn to use the internet and you're finding that you're not getting a very strong signal in there. Um, this might work for you as well. So when we built the extension, we ran this network cable here from the router downstairs up into this room. So what this basically means is that we're going to be able to have a second wireless router in this room. So therefore we'll be able to then get our Wi-Fi signal from that router instead of having to try and get it from the one downstairs, which basically is impossible in this room anyway. But there's also a second reason that you might want to have a hardwired connection in your room. And actually, if you start reading and looking into the subject, a lot of people say hardwired is the future. Because as we have more and more um, devices that we want to get online, and as I said, as you've got ever increasing competition for that Wi-Fi signal, to get really, really good, solid, consistent connection for things like gaming, the streaming, for all those things, the best option that you've got is to hardwire. And although Wi-Fi is improving all the time, it looks unlikely that it's going to match the uh, strength of the signal you get from hardwiring anytime soon. So we're thinking in terms of in the future when you may want to, uh, we're going to have a, a small TV, so I know it's, a, it's controversial having a TV in the bedroom, but we are going to have a small TV in here. Um, but also, while we're causing this disruption in the house anyway, we've decided we're going to do this in every single room um, to future-proof the property really for ourselves and for anyone that's here in the future. Which basically means that by having that hardwired connection, we will be able to stream videos on our TV. And it may well be the case, we're certainly consuming and creating more content for things like YouTube, that you want to be sitting there watching and streaming videos um, from, from sources like YouTube in the future rather than watching TV. And also, that's highly likely you've got two children who are probably going to want to do that as well. Inevitably, at some point, they're probably going to get into gaming as well. And if they've got a better connection, they're much more likely to stay at home and game. So that's what we're going for. But another option we had was the Wi-Fi power line adapter, which you basically set up by plugging it in alongside your router downstairs, and then you have another part of it upstairs, and it runs through your normal plug socket. Now, I've read mixed reviews about these, so we thought, seeing as we were doing the building work anyway, seeing as we had all this going on, we might as well do it properly, belt and braces, and create something that we know is definitely going to work now and in the future. If you're not in the process of doing building work and you're just looking to try something, it may well be worth a go, and certainly I'd really be interested to hear your feedback, but we felt, because there was a better option there, and it wasn't too difficult for us to do it, that we'd go for that one. There we go, that's how we're going to try and extend our Wi-Fi connection uh, into our bedroom. Uh, once we've done it, we are going to make a video on how to do it as well, so I'll pop the link to that below. Um, and once we've done it, I'll let you know how we're getting on with that. But I'd really love to hear other people's experiences of this and what you're trying, trying to do to overcome it, because it certainly seems like one of those areas people don't understand that well, and they're not sure how to overcome, or they just end up spending lots of money on uh, getting someone else to solve it for them. So hopefully we would have sold it relatively cheaply and easily, but we will keep you posted as always. Um, please do uh, hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and come back soon. Bye bye for now.